Okay, we are now in part two because I actually had a phone call come through, so I got bumped off. So welcome back to those who are joint rejoining from my previous broadcast. I actually had a phone call. I, I really wish there was a way that I can figure out, I, and I'm sure there is. I just haven't figured it out, to actually disable phone calls while I am doing this. And I'm sure that's probably something with the data setting or something uh, put it in airplane mode or something like that since I'm on Wi-Fi. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and locate here. Try to locate here the .xml file and I'm sure it's further down. I have so much stuff on my desktop. So here's the XML file. And then I'm just going to simply click upload file and import. And this will actually give me an option here. Uh, because of the fact that this is created by Man Web Design over there on uh, WordPress.com, I can actually choose that I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to assign them all. Actually, I'm going to assign them all to test my site live because that's my default user. And of course, if you are pulling over content from another website and you have images, you're going to want to go ahead and check off this download and import file attachments options here. Because what that's going to do is it's actually going to go ahead and pull in your images for you from the other website and actually adjust the URL so that they are now appearing to come from your current site. And then, of course, you're just going to click Submit. And it will go ahead and pull in all of your content. It'll download and import all of your file attachments. And it'll do all that for you without you really having to do a whole lot of anything. Um, so that's how, that, that's, that's how easy it is to import from wordpress.com to wordpress.org and keep in mind the import option in wordpress.org and of course it tells me it's all done have fun so um yeah i definitely can help you that with that lingering girl um to add the second domain to your main hosting account um but this will actually allow you to pull in those posts and of course, if I go over here to the all posts, I will see now I have the test post one and test post two that I just created over on my WordPress.com site. And they are right there. So I can actually view the post um, using, of course, my broken down theme here that I've put on here. And of course, it'll tell me that this is my first um, this is my first test post. Um, yeah, it's it, it's it, it can be a little bit complicated and, and, and daunting there, uh, Lingering Girl, but I, I would definitely help you with that. Um, so I've actually just pulled in my content. I believe test post two actually was the one that had the image. So let's see. And of course it puts it in there in the, in the size that is dictated by this, um, by this theme. And of course it, you, it's, it pulled in the image. And if I click on the image, you'll actually notice that now it says it's testmysitelive.com and not uh, frugalwebguide.wordpress.com. So you can actually want to make sure that you pull in your, your content, especially if you, especially if you, yeah, I'm, I'm sorry about that um, for the freezing, um, especially if you are um, considering to go ahead and actually ditch your wordpress.com website, you want to make sure that you pull in your graphics. Because if you don't pull in the graphics and uh, graphics and you go ahead and close down this site, then of course your graphics are now gone. Um, and of course this doesn't work just for um, WordPress. Actually, that's the wrong website. It doesn't work just for WordPress.com to WordPress.org. It also will work for Blogger and a whole host of other a whole host of other options. So when you go to tools import and you have this, uh, uh, this gives you this option here. You can do it from Blogger, Blog Row. Um, you can do even do category and tag converter. So there's all kinds of really cool things you can do here. Uh, live journal, movable types and type pad, Tumblr. And of course you can either do WordPress.com or WordPress.org because it's the same, it's the same um, process for the import and export. So I'm actually going to go ahead and head off here, but I'm going to take these two um, videos from catch.me and combine them together and actually put them out on my website. Um, I apologize. I had a phone call that came in in the middle of my scope and uh, I'm working to try to figure out how to get that to not interrupt me if that's even possible. But I will be back on, um, let's see, it's almost five o'clock here. I will probably be back on about 7.30 um, Pacific time, which is 10, 10.30 um, Eastern 
to actually do my second scope of the day. I missed my first one this morning. So um, tune in then and you will find out some more awesome information about how you can use WordPress.org, that is the self-hosted WordPress, to make yourself an, one awesome website. So tune in then and I will see you guys in about three, three and a half hours.